Jacqueline. That's a witch with a broom hooked to a space shuttle. Oh, you're right. Wait. She's all spaced out. She sure is fat. Mm. I can't think of anything worse than being a 300-pound witch on a broom. Well, how would you like to be the broom? Do you know what's worse than a witch without a broom? Well, how about a vampire with false teeth? What would you call a vampire's teeth if they were 12 inches long? 12 inches long? Mm. What would you call them? They'd be fang footers. The trouble with witches is that they are like an ugly bruise. Yes, the poor things are all black and boo. That witch over there thinks she's so funny. Every time she looks in the mirror, it cracks up. Let's ask that witch what time it is. Why, does she have a witch watch? Why is a graveyard so noisy? Because of our coffin. Why didn't the girl vampire like the boy vampire? Because he has bad bread. What happened when the boy vampire met the girl vampire? It was love at first bite. What's the best way to talk to a vampire? Long distance. Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who returned from lunch and saw the sign back in 30 minutes and he sat down to wait for himself? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who when he left for work slammed his wife and kissed the door? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who held an egg in his hand and boiled his watch? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who had been married only a short time and one evening when he got home, his wife seemed angry. What's the matter, dear? He asked her. Well, she said, you didn't kiss me this morning. Oh, darling, he replied. Then who was it I kissed? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who got dizzy from riding backwards in the train for ten hours? When his wife asked him why he didn't ask the person opposite to change seats with him, he replied, I couldn't do that. There wasn't anybody there. Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who put ice cubes in hot water to wash them? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who fell overboard and forgot he could swim? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who is so forgetful that one night he put the cat to bed and put himself outside? He didn't discover his mistake until a dog chased him and he found he couldn't climb a tree. Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who put his best white shirt to bed and sent himself to the laundry to be washed? He didn't realize what he had done until they tried to iron him. One day, three absent-minded professors were talking together in a train station. They were so interested in what they were saying, they didn't notice the train pulling out. All of a sudden, one looked up, startled, and made a dash for the train, with the others following him. Two of them managed to hop on the train, but the third missed it. A man who had been watching tried to cheer him up. That's not too bad, he said. Two out of three made the train. You shouldn't feel so bad. It's pretty good average. The professor shook his head. You don't understand. They came to see me off. Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who took a vacation to forget everything? The first night when he got to the hotel and opened his suitcase, he discovered he'd forgotten everything. We got to... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There was this lady who was trying to drive her car out of a parking space. First she pumped the car behind, then she scraped the car in front. And when she pulled out, she crashed right into a truck. Hey lady, said a policeman, let me see your license. Are you kidding, officer, she said. Oh, whatever, give me a license. Did you hear about the man who got a flat tire because there was a fork in the road? Pull over, lady. Where do you think you're going in such a rush? When I saw you speeding by, I said 65 at least. Oh, no, officer. It's just this hat makes me look older. Well, you know what comes up and never comes down. What could that be? Your age. Listen, lady, you worry me. The way you drive is dangerous. What would you do if your brakes failed to work? I'd try to hit something cheap. You know the part of the car that causes the most accidents? Is that the brakes? No, it's the nuts behind the wheel. What kind of a driver are you, lady? Are you blind? Of course not. I hit you, didn't I? Hey, lady, where are you going? This is a one-way street. I know, officer. I'm only going one way.
Do you know what they call the bug the astronauts found on the moon? Sure, that's a lunatic. What do the Indians call a hunted wigwam? A creepy tippy. Would you please answer the telephone? It isn't ringing. Must you always wait until the last minute? I was thinking, you remind me of a fence. How's that? You run around a lot, but you never get anywhere. I just changed my mind. Good. Does the new one work better? I heard you got a new car. What kind did you get? I can't remember, but it starts with C. I thought cars could only start with gasoline. What I want to do is drive a bulldozer. If that's what you want to do, I won't ever stand in your way. Did you hear about the new tax on hitchhikers? You mean the thumb tax? How's that friend of yours doing? You know, the one on the coconut and banana diet. She hasn't lost any weight, but you should see her climb trees. You dance very well. I wish I could say the same thing about you. Oh, you could if you lied as well as I do. Did you hear about the very fat fellow who went on a three-week diet and lost 21 days? Did you hear about the fellow who was so polite he couldn't open an oyster without knocking on his shell first? Did you hear about the cannibal who was expelled from school because he was buttering up the teacher? Did you hear about the schoolboy who was so slow in school that when he won his letter for athletics, the coach had to read it to you? Did you hear about the race between the head of cabbage, the faucet, and the tomato? How did it end up? The cabbage was ahead, the faucet was running, and the tomato was trying to catch up. What's your son learning in school these days? Gozinta. What's Gozinta? Well, you know, like two goes into four, three goes into six. Can I please have a 25 cent stamp? Here you are, lady. Shall I stick it on myself? Well, we'll get there faster if you stick it on the envelope. Do you know what the letter said to the stamp? Sure. Hit with me and we'll go places. Your umbrella looks as if it's seen better days. Well, it sure has had its ups and downs. <laughs> It's raining now. Why didn't you open your umbrella? It wouldn't do any good. It's full of holes. Then why did you bring it? I didn't think it would rain. How did you get those holes in your umbrella? I cut them with the scissors. Now why would you do a thing like that? So I could see when it stopped raining. Can your new fur coat be worn in wet weather? Did you ever see a mink carrying an umbrella? The closest you'll ever get to a brainstorm is a light drizzle. Well, brains are everything. Right, in your case, they are nothing. I have a photographic memory. Sure, but in your case, nothing seems to develop. A penny for your thoughts? And believe me, I'm being generous. Say, did you hear about my friend, Mr. Bigger? He just got married. Well, how did he compare in size to his wife? Well, he was larger. He had always been bigger. I heard Mrs. Bigger had a baby. Now, who is bigger? Oh, the baby, because he was a little bigger. Poor Mr. Bigger died. Then who was bigger? Well, Mrs. Bigger, for she was bigger still. Why do you hold your hands cupped together? Are you holding something? What do you think? Is it a rock? No. Is it an insect? No. Is it a flower? No. Is it a horse? What color? What is a fast duck? A quick quack. Did you hear about the baby sardine who saw a submarine for the first time? What is it, Mommy, he said. Don't be scared, she said. It's just a can full of people. Is that a new coat? Isn't it beautiful? I got it at the discount store that sells irregular clothes at half the price. Doesn't it fit like a glove? Yes, I noticed the five sleeves. Did I tell you what the doctor said? No, what's wrong? He said I had snow in my blood. What snow? Nothing. What's snow with you? Oh, I'm so bored with you. I know just what you're going to say next. What? That's what. What is red and goes ding-dong? 
red ding dong. What's white and goes ding dong? What ding dong? What's yellow and goes ding dong? A yellow ding dong. What's green and goes ding dong? Green ding dong. Oh no no, they don't make them in that color. <laughs> At the country fair, a pilot offered to fly anyone around in his plane for $20. One farmer and his wife, who had never been in a plane, wanted to go, but they didn't want to spend the money. Okay, said the pilot, I'll pick you up for free, but promise to be good passengers and don't do any backseat driving. So they went up, and the pilot did a lot of fancy loops and whirls. When they landed, he said, you did very well for your first time up. I didn't hear a word out of you. That's right, said the farmer. It was pretty hard. I almost said something back there when my wife fell out of the plane. I feel like a million dollars. You look like a million dollars in counterfeit money. Please, call me a taxi. You look more like a truck to me. I didn't come here to be insulted. Where do you usually go to be insulted? I never forget a thing, but in your case, I'll try. I suppose you think I'm a perfect idiot. No one is perfect. You look like a million. You never saw a million. Right. You look like nothing I ever saw. What's the idea of telling everyone I'm a jerk? I'm sorry, I didn't know it's a secret. When I die, I'm going to leave my brain to science. Great, every little bit helps. <laughs> about the boy who had an elephant on his head. He didn't know what to do, so he went to the doctor. The doctor said, wow, you really need help. You said it, cried the elephant. Get this kid out from under me. The medicine the doctor gave me made my arm smart. Wonderful. Why don't you rub some of it on your head? Doctor, you have to help me. My son thinks he's a chicken. How long has this been going on? About three years. Well, why did you wait so long to bring him in? Well, we really needed the eggs. Doctor, Will I be able to read when I get my glasses? Of course. Great. I never could before. Doctor, I'm so worried about bacteria. I can't sleep. What is bacteria anyway? Oh, don't worry. Bacteria is just the rear door of a cafeteria. What can you give away and still keep? I have no idea. A cold. Are you taking care of your cold? I've had it a week and it seems as good as new. Hello, Dr. Jones here. Doctor, Dr. Hurry, my son just swallowed a pen. I'll be right over. But uh, what are you doing in the meanwhile? Oh, that's okay. I'm using a pencil. Doctor, when I get well, will I be able to play the trumpet? Of course you will. That's terrific. I never played it before. Are you still taking the cough medicine the doctor gave you? No, I tasted it and decided I'd rather have the cough. Doctor, you must help me. My husband comes home every night and takes out his fishing rod. He fills a bathtub with water and spends hours fishing in the tub. Hmm, this sounds serious. How long has this been going on? About a year. A year? Why didn't you come to see me sooner? Oh, I've just been too busy cleaning the fish. I just saw the funniest operation. What was funny about it? Oh, it left the patient in stitches. Do you know what one tonsil said to the other tonsil? Yes, he said, let's get dressed. They're taking us out tonight. What do they call it when they remove a growth from your head? When they take out your appendix, it's an appendectomy. When they take out your tonsils, it's a tonsillectomy. But I don't know what they call it when they remove a growth from your head. It's called a haircut. What do you call a doctor who treats ducks? A quack. <laughs>